Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. What you're about to watch is actually a small clip from a larger podcast interview that I did a couple of weeks ago, hosted by my good buddy Abaddon Smith on his channel Beats for Breakfast, which is a great channel where he interviews a lot of other content creators and YouTubers and talks about all sorts of stuff and inspirations and uh, a lot of music conversation because Avedon is a musician, so he likes to get people with musical backgrounds as well, which is part of the reason he asked me to come on the show. Also, we've been friends for a while through YouTube as well. Uh, it's a great conversation. It's a much larger podcast. And uh, I would, of course, love it if you did go to his channel and actually watch the full complete video where we talk about all sorts of things, lots of video game stuff. We talk more Metroid. We talk about Legend of Zelda um, we talk about music and musical influences and myself as a musician. We talk about doing YouTube and being a YouTuber, some suggestions and tips for people who do YouTube, all sorts of stuff. So I would love it if you watched the full episode. But beyond that, I would also love it if you just checked out his whole channel, all the other videos and interviews that he does, and gave him a subscribe if you liked it because he's doing some really great stuff. So with that out of the way, enjoy this clip where we talk about Metroid Prime 4. Big surprise. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time on a regular video. Welcome back, and I hope you guys enjoyed that last commercial break. We are on the home stretch. And for those of you who don't know Rob, some of you may know Rob, but for those of you who don't know Rob, Rob is a huge, and I mean he is a huge Metroid fan, as you can see with the posters in the background. <laughs> yeah, man. But um, I want to ask you right now, how important is Metroid Prime 4 for the Switch? Oh man, how important <laughs> is it for the Switch? Um, that's, a, that's a good question. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a very specific question. I think it's important for the Switch because, because it's also important for Metroid, just like mm -hmm. for the franchise. Mm -hmm. um, the good thing about the Switch is like the Switch is in such a great state right now. It's selling like crazy. They just gave us these insane numbers and it's like, oh my God, it's done, you know, in three years, it's already sold 52 million units. It's just doing so well. Everyone loves it. Any game that's put on the console sells like crazy. Mm -hmm. So the Switch is in, is in a really good spot. Um, we have some gaps in the library. We're not sure about what the Switch has in 2020 or 2020 and even beyond. And so Metroid Prime 4 becomes a really good a game to like fill one of the gaps and slots for like the future lineup for the switch mm -hmm. um but because i think metroid prime 4 also represents something really huge for the franchise because it's a it's a beloved franchise it's a very long running franchise one of nintendo's oldest game series you know back to the nes days the early years of the nes the first game comes out um and so and for the most part it's one of the best rated uh, franchises you know they've got a couple of lower rated games um but for the most part the games are known as, to, as being some of the best in the entire industry super metroid and metroid prime i mean metroid fusion these games review like crazy and they sell very well but metroid's also in such a unique place because some of their more recent games even though we have to go way far back because there hasn't been a lot of games the last 10 years but some of their more recent games are like really divisive. Metroid Other M on the Wii is a super controversial game as you obviously know, right? I mean, that game, people, ugh, people are all over the place on it. I like it, but it's a game that a lot of people don't like. Uh, and then Metroid Prime Federation Force on the 3DS. We all know the huge drama around that game. Of course. And everyone was, yeah, it was such a mess when that came out. And so other than Samus Returns in 2017, those other two games were so divisive that I kind of feel like people don't think about this, but Metroid is on a bit of a shaky ground and just in terms of reception. So like the, the fan base, myself and other Metroid fans are very vocal. We love Metroid, give us more Metroid, bring back Samus, this is what we want. But at the same time, two of the last three games were very controversial and I think have kind of created a downward trend in a lot of people's eyes for Metroid. Mm -hmm. And so Metroid Prime 4 coming is a game that has to land. It's got to sell well and it's got to review well. And like and the fan base has to be behind it, I think. Of course. Because if if somehow Metroid Prime 4 comes out and it's not the hit that it needs to be, I think it could actually do some real damage to the franchise. Um, but I will say I don't expect that. I think it's gonna be great. I think Nintendo showed us they will do anything. They will move mountains to make this game great 
because of the delay, right? They're, they're, they're willing to restart. They were willing to throw away the Production. game that they were making. I mean, can you imagine, dude, how much money that costs for them to do? Yeah. But they were like, it's worth it because if this game isn't a 10 out of 10, it's going to potentially hurt Metroid. And I think it's also why... I think it's also why the the game that they decided to make for the Switch is Metroid Prime 4 and not a new Metroid game because Metroid Prime is kind of safe. It's a safe well for them to go back to. Um, And that could be viewed as a negative, but I'm willing to not view it as a negative because I want want Metroid to be successful and everyone loves Metroid Prime. And so when they showed Prime 4, everyone was like, oh my God, this game. So I think that that's why they're doing that. And so it's that's kind of where I feel about about Metroid Prime 4 right now. I I share um similar sentiments to you with that. Uh I love the Metroid games. Um they're hard. <laughs> but <laughs> the first like the my first first introduction to Metroid actually people don't people are going to probably be shocked at my at me saying this. But my first Uh-oh. introduction to Metroid, believe it or not, was actually Metroid Prime 3. Whoa, that's recent. That was my first introduction to Metroid. Uh, now, did you play it on the trilogy or did you play it on the Wii when it first came out? On the Wii when it first came out. So okay, I okay. had it I had it on the Wii when it first came out. And it was actually the third game that I bought with my own money on the Wii. Sweet. I remember that my, my college campus at the time, they would sell video games. I saw Metroid Prime 3. And I said, you know what, let me cop this because I didn't have a GameCube. So I missed out on Metroid Prime 1 and 2. Uh, Super Nintendo Kid. Super Nintendo had a plethora of video games. So it was easy to miss out on games on the Super NES. I even missed out on Chrono Trigger on the Super NES when it first came out. I didn't play, I didn't play it until I got the ROM. <laughs> I played the actual ROM before, but I never played the actual game of um, Chrono Trigger. So it's like I missed out on the Metroid boat and I didn't have an NES. So it's like my brother did, but I think that got broken somehow. Cause we just, I, I remember seeing an NES in the house. I remember we had <laughs> NES games. Yeah. I remember we had, we had Zelda. I remember we had Ninja Gaiden. Mm-hmm. But great games, I, all great games. But the game we we had growing up mostly playing was this Genesis. We played the Sonic games, you nice. know, Shinobi Three stuff like that. So yeah. Metroid, I kind of missed that boat until the Wii, because there was no Metroid on the N sixty four. That's that's true. Which was, and they were, you know, what's interesting is they were making a Metroid for the N sixty four, but it kind of got scrapped and it ended up becoming Metroid Prime. You know what? Mitch, I'm gonna I'm say I'm gonna say this. Don't shoot me for this. Oh, but hot take. <laughs> instead of perfect dark, we should have got Metroid Prime on the N64. Mmm, <laughs> wh- mm, that's, a, that's a weird timeline you're painting. I don't. That's such a crazy thought because Perfect Dark was so good. It was like it, it was. was so good. But think of the first Metroid, mm. and think of how they both play. Yeah, I can see. I mean, and you know, they both star female protagonist, right? So that's interesting. I mean, Nintendo that, and Nintendo was stepping into first person and stuff on the sixty four, right? With, exactly. Uh, Go, up. and that's another reason why with first person shooting, yeah. I felt like that would have been well for Nintendo to have their franchise. Even now on the Switch, we have only third party first person shooters mostly. Yeah, we do. And, I, I mean, until Metroid Prime Four comes out, right? Exactly. Yeah, that's all there. And that yeah. would be the. That we the first person shooter on the Nintendo Switch. The only yeah. other shooter we have is really Splatoon. And don't get me wrong, Splatoon is a very skillful game. You need to be good at that game. I'm not and then. <laughs> I'm not gonna come at the Splatoon uh fan base. You have to be skilled in that game. But um having a first person shooter, those are games that I like. And I'm hoping, um, that's why I guess I'm hoping for Apex Legends to come to the Switch because I want more first person huh. shooters to come over to the Switch. That's just me. Yeah. Yeah. Have you played uh, Doom and Wolfenstein on the Switch at all? Doom and Wolfenstein, I have not been, I have not gotten, gotten a chance to play those games. Um, gotcha. If I do, I have, I played Wolfenstein, but I played it on my PC. Okay. Because my PC, gotcha. um, it's, 
it's built to play those games. I, I even got DBZ Kakarot on my PC instead of getting it on, a, on my PS4. Oh, nice. Because yeah. it's like, if I feel like if I want to play a game, for me, shooters, I'm not, okay, I'm not, a, I'm not trying to be a graphics hog or anything like that or anything of that, but 60 frames per second to me is almost needed for shooters these days. Yeah. I, I, I need a fast frame rate when I'm playing a shooter. That's just... That's just me. It's like I I play a lot better. Um, people who are watching see me play Apex Legends. I play on the PS4. I'm sluggish. I'm missing my shots. When mm. I play on the on the PC, I'm way more accurate because one of the things that I like being in these first person shooters is the sniper. That's where mm. you're that guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's like when I played Overwatch, Hanzo was my main all the time, and it's like there's old clips where you see. Headshot, 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 headshot. If I if I get yeah. in my groove, so it's like yeah. that's why I I can't wait for Metroid Prime Four to come to the Switch because it's 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 going to be that game, and I'm hoping and hoping for multiplayer. I'm hoping they have a multiplayer mode. I think it's going to happen. I've I've gone back and forth in my brain about that, and I get you know I get a lot of questions like in my live streams or just on my videos or on Twitter about multiplayer and Metroid. Um, I, I mean, honestly, people just throw me Metroid questions all the time. It's like it's like my daily routine. And, uh, you know, for a long time, probably like the first year after it was announced, before mm -hmm. we knew it was going to be delayed, I was like, you know, they might do a multiplayer in Metroid Prime 4, but they probably won't. I think they're just going to focus on the, the campaign. They tried it once with Metroid Prime 2, and it wasn't all that great. You know, it worked in Hunters and stuff, but that was a game designed for it. This will be all campaign. But the last year, maybe even two years, I've kind of been singing a different tune. Like the more you think about what that game needs to be and the fact that they're releasing it on the Switch and multiplayer stuff is so important nowadays and Nintendo wants to sell people their online service, by the way, I'm like, you know, it actually makes more and more sense the more I think about it. Yeah. So I'm I'm about 50-50. I think that there is at least a 50% shot that there's going to be some kind of multiplayer in the game. And if it's good, I mean, they put multiplayer into Luigi's Mansion 3. Like, exactly. who saw that coming? No one. Right? It's like, None no one. And, it, and I haven't tried it. I don't know if you've played it, but I, I I've heard it that yet. it's very good in multiplayer. So, so yeah, I mean, if you want multiplayer in Metroid Prime 4, I, I think you got a good shot. I think it's going to happen. Okay, cool. So, yeah. But um, I have to ask you <clears throat> one last thing. And okay. this is probably going to be the granddaddy question of them all. The grand more than metroid even okay wow. outside of metroid okay what are some other franchises that you would like to see rebirthed and reimagined oh rebirthed <laughs> oh i wish you gave me a heads up i would have thought of a couple um I'll, okay so I, you want me to start off we'll go, just, yeah you, no you go ahead some, you start yeah you go yeah give me some ideas i yeah. would like a 3d world